Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got video number two on the Do It All series AR-15 that the Pink Daddy and myself are doing. So what this is gonna be is taking this rifle that we've built out and what we believe is a do it all function. And we are gonna see as part one, how does it do long range? So I've got set up behind me, I've got targets from 100 all the way out to 600 yards. We're gonna see just what this can do, uh, see where its limitations fall. And uh, you know, just see how it handles it. Is it really a do-it-all rifle? So the optic, if you don't remember, is a one to six LPVO that I put on top. I've got the PSA quad rail build. This is a 16 inch build kit that I got from them. I am trying out the Streamlight uh, light on here versus the uh, Surefire that I had on there. I was pretty impressed with the price uh, to value. And uh, I really wanna see how it does, but we'll get to that when we do the night shooting. But yeah, this is the, the rifle that I'm gonna be using, and we're gonna see just how well it does uh, out to 600 yards, if it's even capable of that. You know, we've got 12 inch steel targets. We'll know if we hit it, we'll know if we don't. But I'm really excited to see what the true limitations of this rifle is. If you don't remember, I did a 36 yard zero. I saw that a lot of people were uh, saying that that was a good do it all zero. So we're gonna test that out and just see. Hope you guys enjoy. This is not a scope that has any kind of bullet drop compensator. So essentially you zero it and then you'll do holdovers to get you out to range. And that's what I'm gonna do. The hits aren't gonna be precise, but they should get me pretty close. Like I said, I zeroed it at 100 yards. So we're gonna take it out to at least 400 yards. If we can do 400 yards, I might try 500 yards. But uh, 300 yards is what I consider a uh, good combat ready gun, uh, just to be able to engage targets out to 300 yards. But yeah, so one to six LPVO, a 16 inch quad build, uh, let's get it. All right, so I'm gonna start at 100 yards and I'm gonna walk it out to 400 yards and then maybe 500 if we can get there. But like I said, I did a 100 yard zero, so we'll just hold over and I'm gonna start at 100 yards. All right, we're gonna to go to two. For 200, I'm gonna favor the top of the target. All right, now to three. So this scope has dash marks to go down from the center point. So I'm just gonna hold one dash above. All right, had trouble finding that, gotta reload. All right, so I'm having trouble hitting 300. I'm gonna keep trying and uh, adjust my hold. But this is a good point for why you should get a scope with a bullet drop compensator. Uh, like I said, this does not have one, so I'm, I'm really having to judge my holdovers here. But uh, we're gonna get it anyway. Shoot for 400. I'll follow that one. There we go. So that was a 400 yard hit. I'm not sure what's going on at 300, but uh, getting those holds uh, can be kind of difficult, uh, point proven here. But I've got a couple more rounds, so I'm going to shoot for 500, because why not? There we go, nice. that was 500. All right, so I was able to walk it out to 500 yards. I have no idea what was going on at 300, but I gotta keep it honest with y'all. Um, this is a great point as to why you should get a bullet drop compensator. Uh, it really helps when you're on the go, and because this is supposed to be a do-it-all gun, 
that kind of uh, miscalculation can be a matter of life or death, you know, because it is a do-it-all gun. But I do feel confident that I was able to walk it out to 500 yards and get hits. So that's just going to take more time with me being on the gun and just getting to know this gun better. But I do feel good being able to take this out to 500 yards. And uh, I still feel confident in the setup that I have. But I appreciate y'all watching. We're going to keep running this gun. The next video is going to be the close quarter shooting. And then after that, we're going to do the night vision slash night shooting. I think you guys are really going to like it. But be tuned for Pink Daddy's video on his. He's also going to do a long range video. And uh, we're going to keep this series going as we really like it. If there's anything else you'd like to see, just let me know. And I'll try to do what I can. Thanks.